I did not want to be a part of this Ghibli trend. But here we are. With OpenAI's DALI, we were pretty hopeless. But 4.0 image generation just changed the game with the internet making cute Ghibli pictures from their personal lives and converting famous memes into Studio Ghibli style. While the internet is busy following the trend, let me tell you four real life use cases that can be done with 4.0 image generation. We'll be covering cases like getting the perfect professional pictures, generating infographics, posters, and workflow images, designing and validating your ideas, and creating assets as per brand guidelines. Let's jump to the first task. There was a time when we used to run to studios to get our pictures clicked in passport size photos for documents and other professional tasks. It used to be a big task to get it shot and printed in a short duration, but not anymore. All you have to do is upload your existing pictures and ask GPT to generate a professional looking picture in 3 to 2 ratio. Let me show you how. I'll simply upload the pictures and add the prompt. Create a hyper realistic professional photo using the three provided images. Ensure the face remains unchanged including the spectacles. The attire should consist of a white shirt, a cream tie, and a black professional blazer. The final image should have a 3 is to 2 aspect ratio suitable for LinkedIn and other professional platforms with a polished and sophisticated appearance. We press enter and we'll wait. As you can see, with limited input images, it has generated this Stellar professional looking image. It has captured my lips and my beard perfectly and I can prompt away all the minor imperfections in this blog. A total 10 on 10. But beware, I had to try and refine my prompt multiple times to get this image as perfect as possible. So don't get disheartened if you do not get the desired results in your first few tries. Another time taking task is when you have to sit with an editor and go through multiple rounds of iterations and changes while creating infographics, posters or workflow images. But GPT-40 solves that too. Let me show you how. So I want to generate a poster on global AI agent market. I'll simply collect all the information I want and the inspiration poster that you can see on your screen and add the prompt. Make an engaging poster out of this for the topic, Global AI Agents Market. Extract the facts and figures relevant from the above text. You can take inspiration from the image provided. First of all, it summarizes the big text and divides it into smaller chunks. Since this looks good to me, I'll simply type yes and press enter. Now we wait for the model to generate the image. Okay, it has generated our poster. Let's analyze it. So uh, when I look at it, I can see that the design looks good. The colors also feel good to me, at least for the first design. But when I see more closely, I can see there are spelling mistakes in the heading. The heading is not what I asked it to have. Then the spacing is an issue. This design is definitely not friendly to spacing. And there is just too much text on the screen. So what I'll do is I'll simply close this and ask GPT to make the following changes. I'll just say the heading should be global AI agents market. I'll ask it to reduce the text. For example, 30% report increased revenue is enough. No need for the subtext below. Also, I have asked it to check spellings before rendering the final image. So for example, you can clearly see that uh, the state of the global, it has messed up this area, especially market is being repeated again and the spelling of the second market is wrong. So I have asked it to, you know, check the spelling again. And then we press enter and wait and voila, we have a pretty good poster. The spellings are correct when I examine it. The text has been reduced. And it just looks wonderful, but again, it is not the perfect poster. I can see that there are no separators, 
between the headings. So what I'll do is I'll simply close this, go back to the prompt and ask, add some lines to separate the different headings, make the spacing design friendly. And on pressing enter, I get this image. Okay, perfect. The spellings are good, the heading is good, the spacing is also good, but there's a catch. I'm not liking the overall color scheme of this poster now. So what I'll simply do is I'll close this and prompt again. I'll simply write, change the color scheme. Orange doesn't look good. Use some other attention grabbing color palette. And on pressing enter, this is the image I get. And I am absolutely amazed. The spellings are good. The text is minimized. It has even used the logos of some players. I need to check if these are the correct logos of these top players, but it has put in the effort to generate the poster I want to my liking. And wow, like this is a great step forward from photo image generation to save anyone's time who's involved in media and creatives and want to generate quick posters, infographics and workflow images. I am pretty impressed. There are many times when we have some design ideas and wish we could design them ourselves digitally to validate its aesthetics and make a buying decision. We'll cover two examples in this. First one will be about validating the interior design idea for a room that you are renovating and then making if you need that design or not. Second would be making some quick fashion decisions to decide whether to buy a clothing item or not. Let's begin with the first example. Suppose I'm renovating my house and want to check how the floors would look with marble on it. I will simply head to chat GPT and type, what would the house look like if the floor was covered with white Italian marble? Generate an image. I'll press enter and wait. And voila, again, it has generated a crystal clear image for me to decide whether to go with the white marble or not. Also, note here that the model has hallucinated a bit. It has changed the structure of the room a bit, making it feel larger. Also, it has turned on the lights at the center, which we did not ask for. Now let's jump to the next example where we do a quick fashion check before making a final decision. We all know e-commerce has made shopping super easy with few clicks and swipes on your digital devices. But how many times have you returned these products because you did not have a tool to check the dress on your body before you brought it? Well, let me show you how Foro Image Generation solves this problem. I want to buy this shirt that you see on the screen. In my head, I look pretty cool in this shirt. I'll simply upload the image along with mine and write the following prompt. Place the man wearing the black hoodie into a marigold checked shirt and show how it looks on him. Do not change the face of the man at all since this will determine his buying decision. I'll press enter and wait. And boom, I have a clear idea now. I will not be buying this shirt. It's too bright for me. See how this simple activity reduced my decision taking time. Also, you have to notice that the model tends to stray away from the prompt. I clearly requested not to change my face, but it has kind of refined it. But again, for this task, all I need to know is a sense of how the shirt would look on me and the task is completed. One of the most suffocating times is when we have to curb our imaginations to fit the creatives within brand guidelines. And even more difficult is to find and create assets like icons that resemble the brand guidelines. With Foro image generation, even that gets solved. Let me show you how. Suppose the brand guidelines for your dating app company says that you have to use the following codes of red, blue and black to generate any creatives. You can use Foro image generation to simply generate an icon pack by prompting. Let me show you how. I will simply head to chat GPT and type create an icon pack with four icons for my dating app. The theme is red, blue and black. 
I have also added the color codes. Now I'll press enter and wait. And you can see it has generated the four icons I want. You can be more specific for your brand while asking this model to generate your designs and assets. There are primarily three challenges I faced. Speed, hallucination and spelling mistakes. Let's go through them one by one. While photo image generation model is the best at generating high quality images, especially with text in it, it lags when handling complex prompts or large batches of requests. The model sometimes imagines details that weren't part of the prompt, like altering the structure or adding random elements to your image. This can lead to unexpected results, especially when trying to match precise visual requirements. We saw it in our third task while validating design ideas. The photo image generation model may still produce minor spelling mistakes while generating text within an image. It becomes especially frustrating when the spelling mistakes are made not at the earlier but at the later levels of iteration, making it more difficult to catch. In conclusion, GPT 4O image generation model is like having a personal designer, photographer, and illustrator all rolled into one minus the coffee breaks. Whether you are generating professional photos, designing posters, or just trying to see if you will look good in that shirt, it's a game changer. Sure, it might occasionally throw in some creative room changes or give you a slightly off smile. But hey, that's AI trying to add flair. As these models get smarter, the future is looking bright. Also, keep in mind that this is the worst photo image generation can ever be. Soon, your wildest visual ideas will be just a prompt away with fewer glitches and iterations. And that is it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on this model in the comments below. And do like, share and subscribe for more such content. Thank you.